Right from BS4, we have been hearing about SCR and EGR. And for those who have observed keenly, would have come across the terms EGR and SCR and how a technological battle took place in the BS4 era between Ashok Leyland and Bharat Pence, where other OEMs remained a silent spectator. So, what is SCR technology? SCR technology is an advanced emission control technology used in vehicles where an automotive grade urea is injected to the exhaust stream of an engine in diesel vehicles. The catalytic system is made from various ceramic materials such as titanium oxide and other active catalytic components. The automotive grade urea is commonly known as AdBlue or DEF, diesel exhaust fluid. The DEF when sprayed into the EATS emission after treatment system unit sets off a chemical reaction whereby harmful NOx or nitrogen oxides when mixed with ammonia a byproduct of urea is converted into nitrogen and water which are then released into air through the exhaust tailpipe. Bharat Benz was so keen in adopting SCR technology from the beginning of BS4 but Leyland was quite apprehensive even though they had Albinor on their side a specialist in exhaust after treatment system, they found that India was not ready to adopt the SCR technology and it was an additional burden on the Indian fleet owners because they had to incur an additional financial burden of purchase of DEF or AdBlue and hence they decided to go in for the IEGR technology. Why the name SCR or Selective Catalytic Reduction? Because it reduces the level of NOx by using ammonia, a byproduct found in the automotive grade urea, inside the catalytic chamber, it is termed as SCR. The chemical reaction causes the reduction due to the reuse of DEF or AdBlue, which acts as a reduction agent, hence the name SCR. What is DEF or AdBlue? It is a colorless liquid made with a combination of 67.5% of deionized water and 32.5% of very pure form of urea. However, after BS6 emission norms came into force, all commercial vehicle manufacturers had no other option but to adopt SCR technology. And Leyland too had no choice but to adopt SCR technology. However, they are not willing to lose the battle and they have adopted a technology which is a combination of both the proven IEGR and the new SCR technology and Leyland claims that their vehicles are manufactured in such a way that the consumption of air blue is reduced to a minimum. The EATS unit or the emission after treatment unit contains four chambers. The first chamber is the DOC or the diesel oxidization catalyst followed by the DPF or diesel particle filter and then comes the main unit the SCR or selective catalytic reduction and which is then followed by AOC or ammonia oxidization catalyst. How the emission after treatment system works? When the exhaust gas which contains toxic gases like sulfur oxides, nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxide, particulate matters and unburned hydrocarbon leaves the engine, it enters a EATS chamber which contains DOC, DPF, SCR and AOC. Here a catalytic reaction takes place and it removes these substances. In DOC or diesel oxidization catalyst, the toxic hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide are filtered out and it passes through a filter called DPF or diesel particulate filter where soot of particulate matter gets trapped, leaving behind only nitrogen oxides. And this gas, along with sprayed DEF or AdBlue, produces ammonia, which is a byproduct of urea, and then it travels to a final catalytic chamber known as SCR, where catalytic helps in reduction of NOx or nitrogen oxides by converting a part of it into nitrogen water and small traces of carbon dioxide. The remaining ammonia is then oxidized in the fourth chamber called AOC which are then passed out through the exhaust tailpipes. 
the vehicles which adopt SCI technology has to go through a process called regeneration. The exhaust gas which leaves the engine contains unburned diesel, carbon and particulate matter. In older vehicles, majority of these gases were directly emitted to the atmosphere after passing through the exhaust system or muffler. However, in the new SCI technology, these harmful materials and gases are trapped in the diesel particulate filter where a chunk of PM or particulate matter is trapped like all filters after a certain time the filter gets clogged up and needs to undergo a process called regeneration. In some vehicles it happens automatically but in some you need to do it manually when the instrument cluster gives a warning. Essentially regeneration is burning of the suit deposit. For vehicles used frequently on highways and hills the regeneration process takes place automatically. However, for vehicles used in cities, driven mostly on idle speed, frequent start and stop, short trips, regeneration is not initiated automatically and needs to be done manually when warned by the instrument cluster. When the filter gets clogged, the instrument cluster warns the driver of the same and the driver needs to carry out a process called parked regeneration. In parked regeneration process, the driver has to ensure that the vehicle is parked on a level surface and away from hazardous materials. I hope you all would have liked watching my video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel to watch new videos. Thank you.